A fairy is a mythical creature that's usually depicted as being small, having a humanoid body, small wings and in some reports is even able to glow. The Eastern Virginia Medical School carried out a study in the 1970s, in which they asked everyday Americans about their belief in the supernatural. The study showed that over two-thirds of them had an experience that they couldn't explain. There's many people that believe in certain regions of our planet, small fairy-like creatures can be found, and that at first they can be tough to make out due to how fast they fly. However, those who are able to get decent photographs do show what appears to be tiny fairy-like creatures. This person shared these interesting photographs to their Facebook page. At first glance, they appear to look like the typical fairy we all think of. They said the following about the photographs. My friend from Agatha visited me. Some of you will say it's just a moth, but it's not. I always meet them every night. End quote. With another person saying the following. You must have a very special relationship. They don't like people or cameras from what I understand. End quote. This person said this. These photographs are interesting and I think they do show a fairy. If you look at a photograph of a moth and then compare it to this, it's completely different. Moths don't have thin bodies and legs like that. I think that people need to be more open-minded about these creatures. I think it's quite obvious that there's something going on. My friends have seen creatures that look similar to this, and it's true that when they're around you, they do look like moths. But upon closer inspection, you can see these are tiny fairy-like creatures. However, not everyone is convinced by these types of discoveries. Skeptics have pointed out these are just everyday creatures. With one person saying the following. I see these in my garden all the time, and they're not fairies but rather midges. End quote. For those unaware, midges are small flying insects that have a maximum wingspan of 2 to 4 millimeters. There's over 35 different species of these creatures in the UK alone, with wildlife researchers noting that they live in practically every land area outside of dry deserts. There's people though that state this isn't what they're seeing in their photographs, and that belief fairy like creatures do live in certain regions on our planet. It seems that there's no shortage of mysterious creatures living among us. The Irish have their leprechauns and the Scandinavians have their trolls. Latin America has El Duende. Standing less than two feet tall, El Duende is said to cause mischief wherever they're seen. They are described as being covered in hair, including long bushy beards for the men. Some also described a wide brim hat. In Latin American folklore, these mysterious creatures can hail from the forest or live inside the walls of your home. They are mostly seen by children, as they tend to be mischievous and childlike themselves. They also blamed for quite a bit of strange doings around one's home. Your missing keys or that important paper that went missing. This has caused some to say that these creatures are playing tricks on you. In most stories they seem fairly harmless. Some even suggest offering up your first bite to any meal to them, as to keep them on your good side. They are said to lend a helping hand around the house. Other locals have reported that if you get lost in the woods, you can call out to these creatures and they will help you. This seemed to remain true as long as you weren't causing harm. When boys go out to play in the woods, they are warned of the Watcher of the Woods. Little boys were told not to make too much mischief in the woods, and not to cause harm to any of the animals. Elder Wende was always watching you, and if he spotted you doing wrong, he would appear to you and take you to his cave, which many stories state is deep inside the woods. The only way to escape was to fool him into thinking you was one of his kind. Elder Wende only has four fingers. If you could hide your thumb and convince him so, he would let you go. Another tale tells of the sleeping Elder Wende. Settling in for a nap, the creature would rest against a tree slowly disguising themselves as the clay around them. Children would find small clay statues of little gnomes throughout the woods, 
and would sometimes take them home. During the nights, they would sneak off back into the woods. When the children awoke and found the figure missing, they knew for sure that they'd plucked one of the small gnomes. Interestingly, although these sound like childish tales, many have come forward with alleged proof of these creatures' existence. There have been many sightings, pictures and videos that point to this creature being genuine. Many people, whether they believe in many folk tales or not, believe in the El Duende's existence. Some put them in the same category as Bigfoot or Chupacabra. Others believe it just to be a cautionary tale to boys heading into the woods. Whether it's a tale to keep children out of trouble, or simply a tale meant to elicit fear, urban legends will continue to be told as long as stories exist. It may be because they're just fun, some believe, however, it gives us a very keen insight into our deepest fears as humans. Perhaps it's that that keeps us coming back for more. Others suggest that the majority of these stories are based on real events, and that over time they've just been retold. As mentioned earlier, there's no shortage of mysterious creature encounters, and every year people come forward with their stories, detailing impossible to explain creatures. Perhaps the study of cryptids needs to be taken more seriously. After all, people from all around the world have reported encountering creatures not recognised by science, with some even being able to provide photographic evidence. Maybe it won't be long before scientists make a breakthrough in some of these cases. As many know, it's no secret that there's various locations on our planets that remain unexplored, so maybe some of these cryptids could be hiding away in these isolated places. Only time will tell whether these creatures live among us, or just in our imagination. So what do you guys make of these photographs? Do you think they show fairies? Or do you think they show everyday creatures? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.